coming in that are victims of crime too. Because, you know, in public, and that's about as public as it gets in that office, and everybody should be able to feel safe in there, beyond safe, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, part of what I do is I, I try to help bridge that gap. Because there's not many people out there who, who feel more comfortable with the police car you know, behind them than in front of them. You know, and that's not the way that people want to feel about Everybody police, you know what I mean? Because right? a lot of the time, you know, them cars all say protect and serve on them, but a lot of times it's prosecuting uh, revenue for, for a lot of towns and a lot of a lot of places. So, I mean, yeah, you know, know, people, people get... They get a bad rap, but, you know, a lot of professions, there's, there's a couple of bad apples in, in all professions oh, that, that cause bad, you definitely. know, that cause a bad rap. You, you heard that? In a lot of professions, there's some bad apples. This is a profession. That has the authority. To strip away your rights. And or kill you. So it's okay for them to have bad apples. I mean, the way that he said it is what got to me. Like, oh, with every profession, there's, there's a few bad apples. Like, it's okay. For a peacekeeper to be a tyrant, to be a traitor, to commit treason against the American people. I mean, I'm so done with these fake policy and code enforcers. I mean, this is disgusting. A few bad apples. You're riding around with a gun. With the assumed authority to arrest people. And if they resist, you can murder them? Wait, you, you, this is what blows me. Like, you enforce code and policy, commercial codes and policies, commercial codes and commercial policies. That's what you enforce. You don't enforce the law. Commercial codes on a commercial uh, policies are not the law. So you you you're not even supposed to be trying to enforce none of your U.S. codes and policies on people. It, since 1866, these people have been enforcing black codes, slave codes. They ain't even been enforcing U.S. amendments. They do not uphold your constitutional rights. They do not uphold Article 6 of the Constitution. Peace treaty shall be the supreme law of the United States. Ain't no code of policy in peace treaties. When you upholding the peace treaties, that's when you are enforcing law. Article 6 of the Constitution Peace treaties shall be the supreme law of the United States. The Treaty of Peace and Friendship, the 1880 Treaty of Madrid, 
the 1215 Magna Carta. If you enforce anything else on the American states or American state citizens, you are committing human rights violations. That's what you're doing. But since it's been going on since 1866, it's normal. These police use black codes, 1866 black codes. They don't enforce nothing of the Constitution. They do not uphold none of your rights under the Constitution. They are terrorists, human rights violators. That's why he can say, oh, with every profession, there's always some bad apples. You're all bad apples because none of you uphold anyone's rights under the Constitution. None of you do. From the president on down to the police, you all are treasonous. C one nine seven three six seven one five L Royal American State. This is a law. These people are all treasonous. United Nations North Atlantic Treaty Organization. You heard him in every profession. There's always some bad apples. But your profession is 